Uh, good morning. Travel by water here. Today, I am going to bake some bread, a special kind of bread in my tiny little sailboat. Um, what I'm making is a type of uh, bread that the pioneers used to make called bannock, uh, and it's a really great uh, minimalist bread. So uh, let's, uh, let's start uh, doing what we have to do. So first of all, we need about an inch of oil in the bottom of our pan. I am using a saucepan. Okay, that's about, well, half an inch. All right, and then I uh, need some alcohol in the stove, I guess. And now I'm going to put the stove on the cutting board so it doesn't melt my countertop. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to start up the stove, get the oil going. All right, there's the stove on the, uh, the oil on the pan. Okay, so while the stove's heating up, I'll uh, read off the ingredients for Bannock. Uh, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and three quarters of a cup of water. So that's it. Uh, I'll put the, uh, I'll actually put the ingredients in the uh, description, and you mix that all together into little dough balls which then you can put into a ziploc bag you can actually make this uh right from right on the boat if you have uh if you have the flour on board okay so that's that's what it looks like just squish it down a little bit and basically once that oil heats up we're gonna fry it all right it's only been a couple of minutes and i can hear, already hear that oil sizzling so uh uh, I wonder if I should put the temperature controller on the uh, stove. I think I will. Hang on. So this little device here is how you control the temperature on these Trangia stoves. Okay, so you can see you can cut the heat way back like that. I don't want to, you know, have an oil fire or whatever. All right, so there's the uh, temperature cut way back. I'm going to put the oil back on. Okay. All right. And basically, we want to do, uh, you know, a couple minutes per side. So just flatten it out, and we'll have some deep fried dough here shortly. Okay. So there you can see there's the uh, the bread frying in the oil. I'll give it a few minutes per side. I've got a spoon here to flip it with. I am actually going to cut this stove back a bit more. It's still pretty hot. So one thing with the tranges is you got to more or less take the pot off to adjust the heat. Okay. All right, that's about four minutes. So first flip. bit stuck to the bottom. All right, there's the first flip. And do four more minutes on this side. Okay, so you can see it going away there, kind of deep fried bread, you know, kind of along the same lines of a donut, but this is, uh, it doesn't have any sugar. Ah, uh, yeah, deep frying on a 21 foot boat. That's raining out and cold, so why not? 
Okay, there's four minutes on the other side. Let's see how we're doing. Ah, it didn't stick this time. There it is, you can see kind of a golden brown. So let's give it a few minutes on this side now. All right, let's give her one last flip there. See how it looks, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cooked. Okay. So I actually I can smell it starting to burn a little bit. So obviously this isn't the type of meal that, uh, that you're doing all the time, but on a cold rainy day like this, a little bit of fried bread might not be such a bad thing. Okay, so take the bread out, put it on your plate. Okay. And I'm going to shut this bad boy off. Okay, there's the bread there. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not greasy, at least not on the outside. So there we are, we have boat bannock, just flour. Uh, and you know a couple of other ingredients just mix it up right on the boat You don't need any refrigerated items like eggs or anything like that And it's actually pretty good bread, you know deep-fried bread. It's not going to win any health awards, but it's tasty on a cold rainy day, so That's it. Bannock on a boat. Thank you